What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be trying to make protein bars using Myoban's Whey X, um, oats, maple syrup and peanut butter. Excuse the fact I'm wearing a hat but you know we are like five weeks deep into no haircut. I mean look at the state of that, oh my god get that hidden. Um, so we're going to have a shot at making these protein bars, they're supposed to be really good. I'm not personally one to like try and bake, this is a no bake recipe so it should be simple enough to follow along. So what you need is whey X for your protein, you need maple syrup, you need peanut butter and you need oats. Plus you'll need like a baking tray of some sort and a fridge um, to refrigerate them. But yeah without further ado let's get stuck into it. Right okay I'm going to use this big bowl for all of my dry ingredients so like the oats and the protein I'm going to put in this. We need to get, it says three cups of oats. I just googled that and that's 240 grams of oats. So let's measure that out right now. All right, so 240 grams of oats coming right up. All right. So you can see that that says zero. We've got our tub of oats. I'm just gonna start pouring it in until we hit the 240 mark. Right, just like that, boom, 240 grams of oats. Next up on the recipe, you need four scoops of vanilla weighted X. And if you're not taking this stuff, I'm telling you, you're living under a rock. Use my code Peter at the checkout and you'll get 10% discount off of anything off the Myoband website. All of the information's in the description down below. Four scoops of this in with the oats, let's go. Right, next up we got to get one cup of peanut butter, so that's 240 grams, just the same as the oats. So let's get that measured up. And now then we need one cup of maple syrup. Basically we mix them together, we put them in the microwave, melt them up, and then we'll mix those with the oats and the protein to give us a thick paste. And then we'll put that into our lined tray, put it in the fridge, and then boom, we've got our protein bars ready. So let's get that measured out there now. Apparently a cup of maple syrup is 340 grams, so I'm going I'm to continue and pour that in right now. Two hours later. Right, I decided to cap it at 285 grams of maple syrup. I hope that's not going to completely ruin the recipe, but I think it'll be sweet enough with the amount of peanut butter and syrup that's in it without having that extra like 60, 70 odd grams of syrup in it. So now the next step is we need to microwave the syrup and the peanut butter so that it melts together and then we mix all the ingredients together in the baking pan. Okay, let's go. Right, I've had that in the microwave for a minute but it doesn't look anywhere near melted enough so I'm gonna put it in for another few minutes before mixing it with our protein and oats. I'll show you what it looks like right now though. Lack of a better description, it looks like ice cream. Uh, watch, peanut butter melted with syrup should not look like that. Right, we've melted the syrup and peanut butter together and I'm about to mix that in with the oats and the protein. And then once it's made like a kind of thick paste, we'll put that into the baking tray, into the fridge, let it solidify and then boom, we're done. So, wish me luck. Right, that's all mixed in. I just need to like mix it all together now. I mean, it doesn't look appetizing, but it does smell good, to be fair. Oh yeah. Right, that's all mixed in together, and it actually doesn't look too bad. It's starting to look more like the business now. So what we do with this now is we put it into our baking tray. Uh, it's got like a lining in it. Put it in that, basically pat it all down, make sure it's like in there firm and then we'll put it in the fridge until it solidifies and then boom, we're done. So, I'm gonna transfer this into the tray. So let's get into that. Okay, and boom, we have mixed it all in, poured it into the tray, and this is what it should look something like once it's all in the tray, and you've leveled it all out and everything. I mean, that actually looks pretty nice. So now, all there is to it is fire it in the fridge and wait for it to solidify. So let's do that then out. Boom. Ready to go. 
I'll come and check on that in a few hours. Hopefully it'll be solidified. Then I'll chop it in, up into little bars. I'll work out the macros and everything for it. And yeah, job done. So I'll see you when that is solidified. Right, I've just finished training. It's 20 past 11. So I'm, I'm guessing that this is going to be ready. It's going to be solidified by now. Let's get it out and see what it looks like. idea with this homemade protein bar obviously it's a huge massive bar right now just one big lump <laughs> okay you split that up into 20 bars is the idea the macros for that I'll put it on the screen as well as just remembering from memory but the macros are roughly about 180 calories per bar seven and a half grams of protein and just over 10 grams of sugar from doing this experiment for me because it's not something I do um, on a daily basis. From doing this, it's given me a really deep insight onto how phenomenal certain protein bars on the market actually are. For instance, the Mayo bar that Mayo Band does. This has been re this has been improved about two or three times now and they've recently done the recipe again on it and it is 10 out of 10. If you enjoy chocolate or you have any kind of chocolate cravings when you're cutting and you're trying to lose fat, this is what you want. So one of these has 192 calories, 25 grams of protein, and zero grams of sugar. Unreal, honestly, so good. If you enjoy chocolate, you will enjoy one of those. Um, I'll put the link for that in the description. Use my code Peter at the checkout. This also helps support me as well, if you use my code. So make sure you do use the code, don't use any other codes on the site. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do fancy giving this a shot, i will tell you what. Some people will be so OCD because I've not cut this up equally yet. But I'm going to try just a random chunk just to tell you what it actually tastes like. Um, it does look alright. Two hours later. It's actually really nice. The only thing I will say about it, as you can tell, you can tell there's sugar in that. Like that is sweet. But... It's obviously better having that than having a Mars bar. So yeah, I'd recommend trying this. Gives you a good insight onto how amazing actual protein bars are. Like what specifically made protein bars. Actually phenomenal when you take a step back and look at it. But yeah, I've enjoyed doing this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. I've spoke for way too long here. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you all in the next video. See you later.